It's beer and food o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Black Storm and Frisky Bear Brewing Company's One Season Cuddles New England IPA. I really like the sound of that. I like the can design. So what they're going to do is produce 12 different beers over the 12 months. This particular brewery, which is really interesting. It just means that everything's different all of the time. Uh, and we're going to be pairing it with a Eat Natural protein packed crunchy nut bar because that's what I found in the cupboard right let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get nice bit of smoke on the can opening beer in the glass then We got a four finger white head, nice hazy looking beer, good levels of carbonation, amber, a light straw amber coloured beer. Uh, let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells really good. A mixture of pine needle and melon. Yeah, definitely a big melon aroma. I like big melons. It smells really good. Oh. A little bit of orange in there as well. All your tropical fruit flavours you expect from a New England IPA. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's really nice. A really nice beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Melon. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. Pine needle. A little bit of grapefruit. Pale stone fruits. Nice citrus flavours coming through. A little bit of sweetness from the malt that they've used. Such a kind of nuttiness, biscuitiness coming through. Loads of flavour in the middle, as I mentioned, pine needle and me melon predominantly. And then there's just lovely bitterness on the back end. It's really good, really good beer. I've not had anything from Blackstorm or Frisky Beer Brewing Company. Yeah, they've done a, they've done a really good job. It's 6% ABV, if I've not mentioned it already. And it's, the hops used are... HBC431 is an experimental variety hop. And near the carbonation, that carbonation helps to push the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Let's pair that up with this crunchy nut bar, protein packed with peanuts and chocolate. My wife's into all of this healthy stuff these days, and I just thought to myself, let's get something out the cupboard and Do a quick review of it. She won't mind, she buys enough of it. Yeah, look, look at all the nuts in there mixed with the chocolate, toffee, sticks it all together. Here we go. Mmm. Were they tracker bars years ago? Is that what they were called? Seem to remember tracker. Little nutty bar with a chocolate base on it. Very similar to this. I think what's happened is that whereas back in the 80s and 90s when I was eating tracker bars, maybe the early 2000s if they lasted that long, I, I don't know, they may be still in existence, I just don't see them anymore. Maybe back then it was like all about the nutty flavour and the chocolate and, and that was the way they described or marketed the product. These days, this is essentially a tracker bar. Lots of different nuts in there, lots of chocolate, crunchy, hearty, 
big kind of chewy flavors coming through and it just gives you a sense of fulfillment but so did a tracker bar I think this day and age they called it a protein packed bar with eat naturally written on it and it they've just gone at it at a different angle for people who are generally maybe looking to at their health or or whatever but really it's no different to, to, to a the old-fashioned tracker bar from years ago. Mmm. Seems to have a bit of nugget or something in there as well. Like a nuggety sweetness, lots of caramel, lots of chocolate. I don't think this is as healthy as this this company's making out, you know. I really Soya Krispies they've called them. I can't find the nutritional values. Oh ten grams of protein. I don't know. There's honey in there, coconut. I'm not sure if that's as healthy as this company's making out. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of sweetness in there, there's a lot of caramel, a lot of chocolate. But if you they're not the trouble is is that they've called themselves eat natural. Yeah, okay. Nuts are natural. And they've hidden behind the fact that they've called it a protein bar, which yeah, loads of nuts, loads of protein. That's obvious. It's a tough one. Anyway, let's rate this beer. I think this brewery could be onto big things. I think they've done a lot right with this beer. I like the names. I like the name. Onesies and Cuddles. Especially with that big... You can imagine the onesie with the big melons flavour going on there. You know, I, I can almost like dream of it now, envisage what that would look like, you know? Um, yeah, let's rate it. And a frisky bear as well, they call themselves Frisky Bear Brewing. Um, I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. The chocolate bar, although I really like it, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Um, I think that, yeah, it's it. There's a lot of marketing to be had there in that. Um, they, they put a lot of effort into the marketing of that particular bar. That's just a tracker bar from years ago. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box, please. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.